Welcome to Grey Overload, I'm Anthony, and let's see if we can get my media PC to run Windows 11. Now this PC is running a 3400G AMD processor on a MSI B450i Gaming Plus AC motherboard. So we're going to go through in this scenario to try to get this up and running Windows 11 as you see right now when I run it it says this PC cannot run Windows 11 and I figured that so the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually restart this because we need to get into the BIOS so as it's restarting I'm gonna go into the BIOS here and I'm for this BIOS it's the delete key that you're I press a few times until I see the BIOS screen and from there, it flashed, so I'm hoping it popped up. There we go, we're into BIOS. So, two things that Microsoft requires is secure boot and TPM as of right now for Windows 11. So in the MSI, you can go into advanced, and then it has Windows OS configuration. Here you can actually enable secure boot. So if there is something that comes up and it says like uh, PK keys, all I did was in the secure boot mode, as I click custom, I went back to standard, and that seemed to have fixed it. Um, it'll reset without saving, and then you go back into delete, and this is for if you get that error message of the PK keys. And then you have to go back in the BIOS, which I'll do here. And you just press the delete key again. I hope MSI actually, I hope a lot of more motherboard manufacturers come out. Unless they want to send me motherboards and CPUs, I'm more than willing to do that. Um, so then here is secure boot enabled and it's standard. Then you go into security and you go into trusted computing then you want to enable this and this is your TPM device and then if it comes with AMD CPU FTPM disabled make sure you click on enabled then you go to save and exit save changes and reboot click on yes and then you don't have to press delete you let the computer reboot here I do plan on making more of these videos with different motherboards. I have a friend that has a motherboard I want to try to get working. I have another computer with an Intel processor here and that I got working. So I want to get uh, those videos out as well as we're booting up here. And this is my Media Center PC. I don't know why it does that. You'll see a you know, little flashy there and as it boots up yeah it's gonna tell you something is device changing I don't know I plug into this uh, three quarter um, and it's not working right but then as you see I've enabled those two devices this actually passes the Windows 11 check so I should be able to install Windows 11 it has that TPM it has a secure boot this is a 3400 G which is in there list of processors that Microsoft's deem okay. Um, I'm still a little annoyed by Microsoft deeming processors with, you know, this, but I'll probably do another video on that someday here. But this is basically the quick breakdown of how to get it running on this MSI board, which is this MSI B450i Gaming Plus AC. So, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the um, comment section below. I'll try to get to answer them for you to hopefully help you out um, as you're trying to enable this. Hopefully this is a little bit of a guide to do to um, get you in the right direction. I should be able to... Um, uh, I'm trying to think. I got my main desktop that has this working as well. I just got to figure out how to record my main desktop that does all the recording to get you the graphical interface for the MSI stuff and then I have an ASUS board I think I might have another access to another ASUS board here so hopefully I'll get enough boards for you guys and get a cross-section enough to help you out 
where you need to to try to turn on uh, your secure board, your TPM, so that you can run Windows 11 when it comes out. So with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have a comment or a board, maybe I can get a hold of it. You know, um, maybe not. I, I only have access to a limited amount, and I can't go buying everything. So, but I will try to do as much as possible to help you guys out, so that you can see if your computer is enabled to run Windows 11 and try to eliminate some of the questions that Microsoft caused with their announcement of Windows 11. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys helping out this community and helping it grow. It's uh, great to be part of it and great that you guys are helping this channel grow. It's I, I really appreciate it. And um, I hopefully be coming out with a few more videos here um, per week over time here. We just had another addition to our family. so. There's been a lot of uh, spending time with that little baby, but hopefully that'll allow me to have a little bit more time recording here um, in the weeks to come to get out a few more videos for you guys. And I really appreciate you guys watching them as well. So with that, God bless. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.